thing I do every few months is pull myself out of my day to day. I make sure I travel or I go away for a retreat. And the reason I do this, it's, it might seem like, well, if you're not having business meetings, you're not doing anything but enjoying yourself and you're on leisure and you're not growing your business. But that's completely wrong. First thing I'm doing is I'm testing what my business will operate like without me there on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't mean I'm completely ignoring my emails, ignoring my clients, not making sure things are running smoothly. I still have my hand on the pulse of the business. But I'm testing, can this business operate without me? And if it can't, there's a problem there. Second thing I'm doing is I'm exploring the way the, the, the rest of the world is doing business, exploring new things and trends in technology, um, going to restaurants, talking to people, meeting people who are also fellow travelers, but even locals. People are very eager and happy to share their experiences with you. So when you do travel, you really gotta make sure that you put yourself out there, just like you have to do when you're at home and trying to grow your business and doing business development. Another thing I'm doing too though is I'm reflecting. When I'm back in my office, it's very difficult to get time to pull myself out of the day-to-day -day and focus on what's changing in my business, what's not, what needs to change, what are my clients saying, what are my clients telling me. If a client leaves my business, why is that? Is that because something I've done, something I've not done, or is it just natural attrition that every business goes through? The only way to truly know what has to be done in your business to take it to the next level is to pull yourself back and work on your business and not in your business. And I have a hard time doing that if I'm there in the office. So I force myself to get out of the office. Now maybe you're not the type of person that needs to exit the office. Maybe you can just schedule a day off. Maybe we work from home, work at a coffee shop, or you just lock your door and tell everyone you're not available for meetings. But you really need to know what's realistic for you and what type of person you are, what type of entrepreneur you are. I'm the type of entrepreneur that needs to be out of my day to day in order to be able to focus on the business. So. That's something I'm gonna force myself to do and I impose that. Every time leading up to a vacation or a time away from my business, there's anxiety. And really there shouldn't be at this point because my business runs itself quite well, but I still have anxiety about, well, what's gonna happen when I'm gone? What if there's a client emergency? I've never left on holiday and actually had something blow up that can't be handled. Believe it or not, your staff are more than willing to step in and help out when you're not around. And you're actually empowering them to take more ownership of their task and be a further part of your business and show them that you trust them to help take the business you know, on when you're not around. So you're doing a lot of things, even subconsciously you don't realize when you're taking time away from your business, just by giving your staff additional responsibility, you're really showing them that you trust them. So I encourage you to book some time off. I don't know the number of instances I've met with entrepreneurs and they're telling me, well, I haven't had a vacation in three years. Or, yeah, the last time I went away was Christmas, but that actually wasn't a holiday because my family was there and I'm entertaining and I was exhausted. More exhausted than before I took the time off, what I call a holiday. So force yourself to take holiday, book the time, and then plan around it. And make sure you have a contingency plan while you're away. You have someone, your clients know, you set them out of office, um, and things will work out and you'll really grow. And every single time I come back from a holiday, I actually do make substantial changes in my business that have only brought it to the next level. Um, so don't be afraid to take the time off and focus on your business.